In today's video, I turned charity shop clothes into designer clothes, and this is how it went. Oh my god. Why? Why would you? I, I do not know how to say. That is nothing like what this one is. No one does that. We're inside the bin now. Oh god, what even is this? Because I just didn't want to look at them. How is that even expensive? It looks like my bathroom mat. Hello and welcome. My name's Generic and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a bit different. Well, I mean, isn't every single video at this point different? <laughs> Basically, in today's video, we're going to be going to some charity shops, pulling some cheapest items, and then making more expensive items from them. So currently, I am in a country called Poland. Um, how do I say this without being rude? It's more of, it's on the cheaper side of things in this country, which also really helps with this video, because I'll probably be spending about maybe even two pounds on this whole video, which makes it even more crazy. Context time. What I mean by this statement is I live in a country called England. However, I'm on holiday visiting my family in Poland. English minimum wage is £8.21. However, Polish minimum wage is about 14 zł. This probably means nothing to anyone until I convert the prices to the same currency. But if I do convert the Polish wages to English, it values to about £2.80. £2.80. That is almost three times less money per hour. So as the working prices are lower, so is the shopping, food, and also alcohol, which is why I'm saying I'm going to spend so little in this video. Spending two pounds and then making clothes that look like more than maybe like two thousand pounds will be insane. And if we get to that point today, I think I'll be pretty proud of the outcome of it. However, to find out what I'm going to be kind of like inspiring to create, of course, I have to do some research. When I mean research, I mean looking online, finding images of things and then laughing at them. So here we are on Google, ready to uh, look up. What should we look up? Something like expensive, there we go. Expensive clothing that looks cheap. Definitely haven't looked this up before. Here we are, we've come up to a Buzzfeed article, which is, you know, 22 expensive items of clothing. They are also so ugly, they'll give you nightmares. We'll see about that. And that's posted on May the 4th, 2017. So these are some dated fashion items, but oh my God, what is that? This, this is the first one right here that I've just come up to. It's just pair of trousers but someone's just gone nah let's just rip them apart through the middle and then stitch two of them together two different ones as well why like such a light color and a dark color and like one stripe i guess that one doesn't even look too bad it looks kind of funky and cool but what doesn't look funky and cool is spending 1200 pounds <laughs> 1,200 pounds on them. But that's possible, I could do that. So I'm gonna keep that in my mind, hopefully, if I remember that. The process that I'll probably go through is just cutting them in half and then probably just trying to sew them in between in the middle. That's quite easy, actually. Oh my God, what is that? Those are just jeans of like dirt on them. Someone's literally just gone, let's just get like a pair of jeans, let's put them in some dirt or a swamp or something and then just wear them. 351 pounds. It's literally someone just run through some dirt in a pair of jeans and now they're like fashionable. That's definitely possible. I'll tell you that. That is probably one of the easiest things that I'll probably have on this list. Let's just move on. To God, it's a set. Why has someone made this a set? And what? 702 pounds. The jeans were only 350. And now, now that just makes it look cheap. Like the top looks disgusting too. It's awful. It looks like someone's just like shat on someone's like shoulders. And then, okay, yeah, th this one's definitely possible to do. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of like the Celts, like the Scottish Celts, where someone was like, no, 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 let's not put them to like the waist. Let's just put them all the way up and then add a little like bit of plastic or something on the top. Oh God, this is another one. You know what this one reminds me of? This one reminds me of like that tin can guy from um, Alice in the Wonderland. You're paying basically 3,080 pounds. I guess it looks the most intricate out of all of them, but why you're spending 3,080 pounds for a tin foil looking ass dress, I don't understand. Maybe I'm just a boomer at this point, but I don't know. Oh, there we go. Here's, here's another one of those like trousers that someone's just kind of like meshed out of each other, like, or they've ripped them apart and then they've tried to replace them with other trousers. But at least the first one looked a little bit better. This one just looks weird, man. This one just looks strange. Oh yeah, you know those um, boxes of like Quality Street, those ones? It looks like someone's just got the wrappering of all those sweets and then just like melted them, molded them together to make some sort of like trousers. What I don't understand even more is why someone's spending two thousand pounds for that here we go <sighs> First of all, it looks like one of those like cheap ass like shirts that someone just printed on the whole way through that used to wear in like 2013. And second of all, why would you want to become like a letter? And third of all, let's add on to that as well. Why would you want to be spending 165 pounds to become a letter? I guess we could replicate that. I'll stick a letter on a 
shirt. That's a possibility, I guess. Oh God, how is that even expensive? These are just Crocs. They just look like Crocs, man. It's just someone's just gone and stuck some stones on a pair of Crocs and then just gone, yeah, yeah, they, this is this is it, bro. This is what people will be spending 275 pounds on. Fancy seaside looking Crocs. Are the stones expensive or something? Like what? Oh God, what even is this? You don't get the shirt with it? So the shirt doesn't, I mean, the shirt looks ugly ass, but like, so you're literally paying for the metal looking like sheet around the shirt. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like, it reminds me of like a fence. And someone just got, yo, let's just make a fence into like a vest. Is that a vest? Oh wait, it is rubber. Okay, I was gonna say, cause like if it was metal, I don't understand how people could wear that. I don't understand how that would be in any shape way or form comfortable. Cause you wouldn't be able to sit or move. 410 pounds. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, this one's just a joke. It looks like my bathroom mat. Thing is, right, with the other ones, at least if someone's sewn them or made something, this one's just, someone's just wrapped a mat around themselves and then just gone, yeah, that's like £3,060. I guess it is versatile. That's the good thing, right? You can wear it or you could put it on your floor because you get a skirt and a bathroom mat for that price and probably a car, but yeah, you go for it, bro. I mean, that one's a possibility. That's an easy possibility that I could do. Oh God, this is just a white shirt with holes in it. A white t-shirt with some holes for 425 pounds. I mean, whoever designed this, some man, woman, Badger that's gone at it. Why? Why would you go? Why? Why are you spending this much money? Why are you spending that much money? I will never understand. I, I think I could do that one actually. Just about. Just about. And that's the end of the article actually. So I think we've come up with some really good ideas. We got some like ideas of what we could do. Basically attach things together, make holes and work from there. So, I mean, the next step is really just going to the charity shop and pulling these clothes out and finding what we can find. Let's go. So basically, I'm currently in town, ready to go into the charity shop that I have planned to go into. Uh, I've got the money that I'm gonna be spending, and yeah, that's basically it. We'll see how it goes, how much we can actually pull out of the cash that I've got here. We'll, uh, we'll just go from there. We'll start walking over and uh, see what we can get. And there I was, going into charity shops, looking for things I could use for the video, and buying them. The reason why I only have a couple of clips of me walking around the charity shops is because I was getting some strange looks, and I just couldn't do it anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. After a while, I found everything I needed and headed off to get the most important supply, a needle and thread. Right, um, so I've just done the, the shopping for this video. I've gone to a couple of uh, charity shops. I will show you guys what I got. However, I'll do that before I start customizing some of this stuff. I didn't spend actually that much. I spent like three or four pounds. For the concept of this whole video, it'll be interesting how far we go and how close it can be. So let's go. I guess that'll kind of work. The reason why I'm actually in this neighborhood is because I need to go get a like needle and thread and stuff to actually be able to edit any of the clothes that I've got, which is why I'm going to my grandma's. <laughs> um, a lot of people here live in flats, so yeah, that's uh, that's why I'm like going upstairs. She will be like pulls me back in or something. <laughs> right, so I've got everything now. Uh, let's go and um, start editing, I guess. Hello, welcome. Here we are, ready to start recording and making these uh, expensive clothes, like I can say. I don't think it will be expensive, let's be fair. What am I even saying? Of course they're not gonna be expensive. They're charity shop clothes. I guess let's start. First of all, let's like pick apart all the things that I've got. I've got a pair of scissors, and then I have, I have the needle and thread from yesterday. Anyway. Let's get into the ideas of today that I've got. So I've got into the idea of, you know, those two different types of trousers we looked into. I bought one pair and I bought a second pair of trousers. These smell of like second hand. So that's one idea which I'll be going for. And I'll be literally transforming this, these two pair of trousers that I got for like two quid into apparently something that's like 1,200 pounds. The idea was that I've got is I'll just basically just start off like this by just cutting them in half. I guess that's where we're going. Cutting them in half and then kind of working from there. These are like probably the most like basic Tesco value scissors. So these might not even be able to cut. So I might even have to rip. Ah. 
Oh God. And I don't know how I'm gonna sew this on because I've never really sewn my whole life. What we need to do is try and cut through this now. And it might be good to try and keep the seam. So I'm gonna cut into the seam. What? You're gonna keep the seam, so you're gonna cut into the seam. Okay. That's professional work right there. Just rip it apart and hope for the best. Why is this so difficult? I mean, yeah, it's not that easy denim, I guess. But then I haven't really ripped a pair of trousers before. And also another thing is, after I've done this, I've got a bin to throw my shit away later. Nice and easy. There we go. Professional. One leg right there. So we got one leg sorted, as you guys can see. Let's start on the next leg, I guess. Let's just rip it from now on. I say that and then I <laughs> can't rip the bloody thing. Right. One leg, two legs. Time to start working with the thread, right? That's the next step of this. This painful process, I guess. Let's make sure not to lose this. Otherwise, I think my grandma will smack me. You meant to get an arm's length. Okay, I didn't know you're a professional now. Not that long. <laughs> I don't care, right? This is how professionals do it. You need to start learning, man. Oh, I hate this. This is the worst part because I have like Parkinson's. Oh, I've now you guys get to see it in my like useful hands and how much I care about them. I actually did it first time. That's pretty crazy. I think you should try on both the legs now, just to check if they fit. Try the legs on. I'm not making it so it fits me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just making clothes, man. Yeah, it's gonna take like 30 minutes to sew that whole thing up. No, it's not. I promise you, I'm going to be a professional. I'm gonna do it in like five minutes. And now we kind of like <laughs> try and like place them together. Oh, great. I just noticed what I did. I've selected both the same legs. Oh well, it's a more trendy, isn't it? Like a back pocket and a front pocket together, right? Why is it so hard to go through denim? And then we start sewing this stuff together. My like year two skills of sewing come together now. If you know how to do textiles, I'm probably giving you anxiety right now. I mean, you could have done the easy way of using like super glue or some shit. Ah, oh, yeah, but then it wouldn't be professional. And I'm a professional, okay? Do I really enjoy like sewing clothes together whilst like seven or 20 little kids down there are laughing at me? That right there is how you sew. Look at that car. You know how you're supposed to make it close together? And then it's me like making fucking like two miles worth of like holes in between my sewing. What am I even doing? Oh my God, look at like how big these things are here. I, I do not know how to sew. I mean, I guess I tried, right? I don't understand why one side has the butt cheek part and the front is just the pocket, right? That's what it's called, the butt cheek part. Now, how do I end this? Do I just like, no, it's like that, that like technique where you like go back through the, the part where you sewed it, right? But here we are, finished outcome. Look at this, come here, bring the camera closer. Look how bad the stitching is first and then look at the frame. Maybe that's actually cool, you know what I mean? Maybe that gives it the edgy vibe that we're looking for, but yeah, I guess that's the first one. That's what I've done, right? This is what I was going for. And this is what I came out with. I'm sorry, but that kind of looks better. That looks better than this one. Yeah. I mean, if you want, here you go. Okay. What would you rate that? I mean, like design wise, it's a good design, but it's really shit sewing and it wouldn't last a second. When you sat down, it's probably fucking rip. So I guess we tried. Now we move on to the next one. After this van comes past, that is, we move on to the 300 pounds Crocs. Right, so how do we actually do this? The Crocs I purchased, again, are a little small for me. These Crocs right here, they cost less than a pound. One pound for these two Crocs, right? Now I'm going to show you guys how to make them expensive. In about, what, three to five minutes. Damn, they're actually like proper like Crocs. Oh, that Crocs noise, wait. Right, so the Crocs in this image are kind of like a bluey, like purple. So I've got some crayons here just to color them. I'm just going to draw on them and make them a different color to the point where they kind of look like this kind of like tie dyed effect. I don't really understand when people are paying this much for clothes. I spend like 30 pounds on clothes and that's it. Here we are drawing on some Crocs in a car park thing with kids cycling around me being annoying. Now get some purple in there. You know what I mean? Use all the different colors in there. Yeah, you'll probably still be able to see that gray, but but let's be fair, at least I'm not spending 300 pounds for Crocs. <laughs> it's gone white instead of blue. Okay, that's one Croc done. I think by adding the purple, it's just making it white. That is nothing like what this one is, look. Right, so we've done the blue. I mean, when I mean done the blue, I mean done the blue. <laughs> Next part is adding the rocks onto the thing. I've picked out a couple of rocks from uh, my close neighbor at the moment. Sorry about stealing your rocks, bro. And I guess all I'm doing is putting the, the rocks on the crocs. 
Squish them into the hole. No, because it won't fit. Oh, wait, I've got scissors. This is so depressing. I'm ruining Crocs. Definitely how these guys did it. Shove them in like that. Oh, look at that. That is how you do it. I don't think I'm going to customize both of them fully because I will be sitting here customizing Crocs for about half an hour. There we go. One pound Crocs, 300 pound Crocs right there. Okay, now we are on the last piece of the items that we're going to be doing. We've created the trousers. We've created the Crocs that are inside the bin now because I just didn't want to look at them. Now what we need, right, is a shirt because to finish off an outfit, you need a shirt, right? So here I am with a nice gray little shirt and we're going to be continuing the trend of very expensive clothing today by creating what only is a 455 pound shirt in about two minutes. All I need is a pair of scissors for this one, actually. I feel so bad, like ruining these shirts. Oh yeah, let's just add a load of like holes and a load of shirt. That looks nice. Yeah, there we go. Make loads of holes and then we can be like, oh, it costs 450 pounds. No. Professional clothing making right here so like I say kids if you want to be a rich person and look like you spent like over a grand or two on your clothes just look kind of homeless and that's it look at that 450 pounds the photo doesn't even look that much different to the actual item that I've created here I mean you guys won't be seeing because I'm zooming in but I'll probably show something up like here or something but like why are people spending so much on clothes we finally have a full outfit we have this shirt we have the trousers <laughs> I think the trousers look the best, personally, out of everything. And then we have the Crocs in the bin. So overall, the outfit's like nearly two grand, I guess. The Crocs, the shirt, and the trousers. We've made that in half an hour today. And that's it. What can I say? Like, don't spend money on too expensive clothes or people in charity shops can make them, I guess. Thanks guys for watching. I don't really know what we did in this video. We made a ripped up shirt, some half, half trousers. That's really it. Subscribe, like, and thank you. And that was basically the end of the video. I had done what I wanted to do, and I did it with a laugh. Here's some clips of me trying on the outfit, even though it didn't really fit. It was really good fun trying to do this, and I'll definitely be doing something similar in the future. In a weird way, even though there were these kids that kept annoying me, it was good fun to see that the video that I was filming made them happy. But I mean, that's basically it for today's video. That's another one off the checklist. Please subscribe, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Peace.